history of the Super Series really goes back to uh, the fact that team, a number of teams have played on a regular uh, annual basis uh, in invitational tournaments, but there was no real structure to those tournaments. They were one-off tournaments throughout the year. So going back about seven, eight years now, um, some guys got together to organise a, a session of series, so it's more like a league. Um, unfortunately, the guys that started that dropped the ball after two sessions. And so some of us that were managing teams, and obviously I used to manage the Marauders for a number of years, we got together to set up what became the Super 7 series along with Adam Hurst and Terry Sands. A couple of us kind of sevens enthusiasts said, we can't let it die, let's uh, actually pick it up like the rising phoenix and let's make it bigger and better. And that's exactly what we've done. Last year was our first year back. It was a big success. This year it is bigger and better. We've got iPro Sports involved as a sponsor. And yeah, we're looking to go even bigger next year. Well, this tournament is one of the best tournament circuits in the country for Sevens. And Sevens is the best growing sport, it's the biggest growing sport in the country, so we want to get involved. The standard of the tournament is, is, is really high. We've got international representation from uh, Jamaica who have just finished playing now, the England development team, uh, Irish Wolfhounds who look very sharp, Premiership representation in, in Worcester and Northampton, and then a number of invitational teams uh, below that. So a bit of an unknown quantity with some of the teams coming, but that's kind of the excitement of the Sevens, that you don't really know what you're facing. Give the Sevens like two more years, then Bournemouth is going to have a challenge, you get me, because if you want to test yourself against the best, the best seven players in the country, they'll be here today, probably. And uh, you get to play, you know, lovely, lovely surroundings. Get a crowd of four thousand people, I think, now that you come down and watch the rugby. Why not? I mean, if you want to test yourself against the best and put your hand up for selection, even for your national team, the coach is out there watching. This is my first time here and um, follow rugby um, you know, via the TV. Uh, first time I've seen Sevens rugby and certainly seeing it live, it's amazing. The, the athleticism of some of those players is just incredible. The standard is very, very good. Without a doubt, you've got some fantastic players out there in all the teams. It doesn't matter whether they finish bottom or top, they've done very well and they've really entertained the crowds here today. Excellent top standard. It's so special because it's a series. You know, the teams are allowed to come weekend after weekend and keep bringing new players through, keep bringing their old boys through and, and really bounce from tournament to tournament, building a good uh, bit of momentum and some points throughout the season. 